coefficient of coefficient of thermal conductivity coefficient of thermal conductivity coefficient of coefficient of thermal conductivity so this is a slab <coughs> This is a, a slab or thermal slab or solid slab actually and uh, temperature of this face is theta 1 degree C. Temperature of the phase 2 is this is what uh, we can uh, write phase 1 and this is phase 2. Phase 2 has uh, the temperature theta 2 degree C theta 2 degree C and we can assume that theta 1 is greater than theta 2 that means left end is hot end uh, uh, with respect to the right end of the slab. <coughs> thickness of the slab is x, thickness of the slab is x. This is the thickness of the slab. And we can denote this thickness as x. This thickness is x. <coughs> area of cross section or, uh, of the slab is A. A is the area of cross section. In this case, heat energy will be conducted from the left end to right end. Uh, left end to right end. This is the direction along which heat energy will be conducted. And rate of uh, heat, uh, rate of conduction of heat is Q by T. Q by T is the rate of uh, conduction of heat. Q is the heat energy which is conducted through the slab in time T. In time T. In this case, heat energy will be conducted with rate Q by T. This is Q by T. This is the rate of conduction of heat Q by T materials of the slab. Uh, now, first of all, we can write down the expression of rate of conduction of heat. Rate of conduction of heat. Rate of conduction of heat across rate of conduction of heat through A rectangular slab, rectangular slab is given by, is given by Q by T is equal to K A theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by X theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by x and this is the expression of rate of conduction of heat, rate of conduction of heat and uh, this is equation 1, equation 1. If A equal to 1 and temperature gradient that is theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by x is also 1. Then what will be the expression of q by t? q by t will be equal to k into 1 into 1. Therefore, k will be equal to q by t will be equal to the rate of conduction of heat rate of conduction of heat that is coefficient of thermal conductivity is numerically equal to rate of conduction of heat um, through unit area of cross section of uh, a rectangular slab having unit temperature gradient across the solid. So what should be the definition here uh, we can write down the definition. Uh, uh, therefore, the coefficient of therefore the coefficient of 
थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी को एफिशियंट ऑफ थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ ए सॉलिड ऑफ ए सॉलिड इज न्यूमेरिकली इक्वल टू न्यूमेरिकली इक्वल टू विच क्वांटिटी इक्वल टू द रेट ऑफ कंडक्शन ऑफ हीट 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 थ्रू ए रेक्टेंगुलर स्लैब थ्रू ए रेक्टेंगुलर स्लैब थ्रू ए रेक्टेंगुलर स्लैब ऑफ दैट सॉलिड मीडियम of that solid material material per unit area per unit area per unit area of the slab due to unit temperature gradient unit temperature gradient unit temperature gradient so this is the definition uh, obviously the coefficient of thermal conductivity of a solid is numerically equal to is numerically equal to the rate of conduction of heat rate of conduction of heat through a rectangular slab of that solid material per unit area per unit area of the slab per unit area of the slab due to unit temperature gradient unit temperature gradient unit temperature gradient and here uh, obviously uh, which one is the temperature gradient theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by x is the temperature gradient which is uh, assumed to be 1 temperature gradient theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by x uh, that is difference in temperature by thickness of the rectangular slab is the temperature gradient and which is uh, unit which is unity uh, to maintain uh, obviously due to unit temperature gradient uh, heat energy will be conducted and that rate of heat uh, conduction of heat through the rectangular slab per unit area is uh, the coefficient of thermal conductivity coefficient of thermal conductivity and here q is equal to uh, k is equal to q by t uh, which is uh, the coefficient of thermal conductivity coefficient of thermal conductivity k is the coefficient of thermal conductivity and additional information is what what should be the unit of coefficient of thermal conductivity unit of coefficient of thermal conductivity unit of coefficient of thermal conductivity number 1 will be what we know the 
we know the expression of rate of conduction of heat q by t is equal to k a theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by x from that uh, what should be the expression of uh, k which is q by t into x divided by area into theta 1 minus theta 2 so q uh, has a unit uh, joule per second uh, per meter meter by meter square and per kelvin and that is the si unit of thermal conductivity or coefficient of thermal conductivity number two it has another unit which is which will be calorie uh, not uh, calorie it can be expressed in terms of what so that is joule per second is uh, what is equivalent to what what per meter per kelvin this is another unit of